Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, I'm Anna Mae and today I'm going to be talking about my 2017 recap and what is happening in 2018 and what I hope will happen in 2018 and everything like that. So as well as this, I should mention that on my Instagram, I have a little Instagram story of like the highlights of 2017. So definitely check that out. Um, but I'm also going to be talking about them just now. And um, if you saw last week's video about books I'm reading and stuff like that, you would know my dog is asleep in the background. I don't know if you can see her. There she is. Um, yeah, she's snoring and I can't get her to stop and I really don't want to kick her out because she's old and I feel bad. So we're just going to try and talk louder than she can snore. She's little, so it should be fine. Um, so starting off in 2017, I spent New Year's with my family in Berlin, which was really exciting. Um, I might actually insert some videos over me talking or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I was in Berlin um, and it was so lovely. It was super cold, but it was just really nice for New Year's. I always feel like New Year's is kind of a, such a non-event. It's like three, two, one. That's it, that's it, it's a new year. Um, so it's not all that exciting. Um, and I was I was pretty glad for 2016 to be over. It was, I think, you know, there's all of those memes. Maybe I'll try and insert one here of being like, you know, New Year's 2018 after being terrorized with 2016, 2017, guy holding the cross. That was me. Um, <laughs> I just wasn't really feeling like it was gonna be uh, an amazing year, which it ended up being, so I'm totally fine with that. Um, so I went for my second semester of my second year of college um, and I was doing that, doing fine. Um, I had lots of really fun dance stuff happening. Uh, semester two is always super fun. With that, we have our big national competition, which was so much fun. I can't really insert pictures of those because I don't really want, I don't know if people want to be on my channel, so. Um, yeah, it was amazing. We did really well and it was just an overall good time. Semester two went just fine academically and everything. And then I finished that up and in about February actually, back in February, um, I had, it was confirmed that I was going to be going to China with the organization International China Concern. I was going to be volunteering in one of the welfare centers that they are involved in, in China, and I was going to be in Sanmenxia. So um, that was something that I had decided the previous Christmas. Um, and yeah, it was honestly kind of that Christmas New Year's was a big time for me to decide. There was a big academic program I could kind of get involved in and that would be amazing but the chance of me getting in I actually applied again this year or I didn't apply last year but I applied this year and um, the chances of me getting in are slim to none so I was kind of thinking I could apply for that and in that really really small chance if I got it I couldn't turn it down and I wouldn't be able to go to China but would I be able to do it like this coming summer and um, like 2018 probably not because I would have graduated college and it would be really hard I would need to be like working instead so I had this big crisis and decided that I was going to go to China instead of apply for any of these academic programs and um, so fast forward to June that's when I left for China and maybe I'll insert a couple videos here and there and um, I had intended on making a video about you know traveling and everything like that because I went by myself um, and I just met the team there I had never met any of the people before um, and maybe I'll make a video more so on my experience in China because it's gonna be coming up in a year which is crazy um, but yeah so that was an amazing amazing experience but it's so much I couldn't even start to talk about it really um, here and I can't share any of the pictures obviously for child protection reasons um, so then I came back and I was back for like a week, um, not even, I think I was back for five days and you know I didn't want to just be sitting around the house thinking about you know what I had left in China and stuff like that so I ended up going to Westport with my best friend and her little sister and her mom and um, they have, it's, you won't know where that is, it's like on the west of Ireland, it's just like two hours kind of north of where I'm from um, and they have a house there and beautiful beaches and everything like that so um, that was really fun and then we drove back down and like two days later I left for a big family holiday with my family because um, my brother had just finished like his secondary schooling and um, like his high school and whatever and he was gonna go into college so it was kind of the last chance for our family to go on like a big holiday together 
um, especially because I would be graduating the next year. So um, yeah, we went, we first flew to Fort Lauderdale and spent two days there. And then we flew from there to Costa Rica and we spent, I don't know, over a week there. And it was absolutely amazing. Um, it's so beautiful and it's really nice to know that they're really eco-friendly and ecotourism is their thing but all the tourism they have is so sustainable and everywhere that you stay is so sustainable and things like that so it really does bring peace in your mind when you're visiting somewhere that's so beautiful like that that you're not like wrecking it while you visit and um, so that was amazing and it was just so so beautiful and very very humid <laughs> very very humid um, and from there we flew back to New York and um, my mom has a fa some family in New York and as well as that so on our first day so we went into New York we had like an evening there and then day two we went to Philadelphia because my mom also has family there so we were visiting a member of her, of her family and we were just going around the city and we went to into a museum or two we didn't get in to see the Liberty Bell but that's okay I'm not American I'm not, I'm not really relevant then we had like two three days in New York itself and that's when we saw her other family so that was amazing then we came back and I did not have a job I was trying to kind of find babysitting work and stuff like that but I was not successful so that was not so fab but it was still a pretty good time um, not being in college, you know, it's always good. Um, and then I started what is my final year of college in September. So um, that was super busy. If you know Freshers Week, I know it's like mad when people are going out and stuff like that. But um, for like being in the society I'm in, we have the tent and we're trying to get new members for our society and people to audition for our teams. I'm a dancer, I'm on a dance team. I think I mentioned that briefly in the first half of the year and um, competing and stuff like that. So looking for new members and everything like that. And that's super fun. I love that whole stage and helping out with auditions and auditioning and I got on the team again, thankfully. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't. And um, yeah, so I was just doing the college thing and I had decided to go to PlannerCon Europe. And um, if you didn't know, I also have a planner channel at Animate Plans on Instagram and I will link the channel here if I can, or it'll be linked at the end anyways. And um, yeah, if you wanna know more about that and stuff. But uh, I went to PlannerCon Europe in Brussels, which was amazing. I actually went with my mom because she just wanted to come. I was like, I can go by myself. She's like, no, I want to come. And I was like, you're not going to get a ticket. Tickets are expensive. And she's like, I don't care. So she just bopped around Brussels for a little bit. And um, I was in the like convention center where it was and everything. And it was so much fun. And I got lots of cool freebies and met lots of really nice people. So it was an overall really good time. So that was two days. And then we came back and I had some like dance performances and stuff like that scattered throughout the semester but there was also like a lot of intense work because I am a final year in college now. That's bringing us pretty close to today so November was um, then you know just lots and lots of college dancing a bit then I had a trip to London when I was supposed to be studying it was in my study week so we get a week off for studying um, for exams and I had five exams I needed to study for and did I no I went to London for four days um, and in my last video where I was talking about a lot of the books I bought them when I was in London and um, in the secondhand bookshop because I was able to get some really like unusual books and stuff so um yeah that was so much fun I was there visiting my best friend she goes to college there she goes to King's College London she studies medicine over there so she's also two years younger than me so she's gonna be there for a while um but yeah, that was super fun. We went to Winter Wonderland. I got halloumi fries. It was just a great time. Although she did get sick, actually, on like the last two days. She was like really tired and I was like, come on, let's, let's have fun. And uh, it turns out like after when I left, she ended up going to the doctor and everything and she was really sick. So, sorry. Um, but yeah, then I went back, did exams, barely survived. Like, I barely survived. It was really, really difficult. Um, but thankfully I won't have as many exams this semester, so it should be a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I came back, I was done on the 21st, and, um, and then it was Christmas, and that was super fun. I had a really good time with my family. We did actually have a bereavement in our family um, on Christmas Eve, which was very sad, and on St. Stephen's Day, I don't know if people call that that, other place in the world, I don't think they do. Um, the day after Christmas is St. Stephen's Day. Um, we had to go to a funeral and everything. So that was, you know, 
not the best for Christmas. It was just quite sad and um, there's there's nothing you can do about that. You just need to like mourn and you know deal with it. Um, and then for New Year's this year we drove up to Donegal and we stayed in a really lovely hotel there and you'll see the pictures from that if you follow me on Instagram at animate.yt um, and that was a really lovely time so that brings us up to today it's like the third we just came back yesterday yeah so that was 2017 it was amazing it was much more jam-packed than I had thought it was gonna be um, I wanted to make it a good jam-packed year because I knew that 2018 was gonna be a weird year um, it was gonna be a lot weirder if I didn't get the amazing news of last night. Um, I don't think I have any video clips, I wish I did, of me finding out. Basically, I don't really want to say some things because I feel like it's kind of jinxing myself. Um, even though people are like, that's not a thing. If it is a thing, I am the truest example of it. Um, I always jinx things. So basically, what will be happening this year fingers crossed is that um, I'm going to start on the 22nd of this month I'm going to start my final semester of college I'll have exams in May and then I will be done and that's crazy I won't have my like graduation ceremony uh, I can't remember what the other word for it is um, until like late September October and um, which is kind of annoying but what I'm hoping to do is just work at home in either retail or like a business, you know, that I can find at home and save money because I like know I'm the worst about jinxing things and that's why I don't really want to say things um, too much in detail. But what I can say is hopefully at some point in 2018, I will be booking a one-way flight somewhere. And yeah, I think that's really exciting. Um, I will probably be officially leaving in 2018, but it will be like late December. So um, that's always, you know, up for change though. So definitely subscribe to this channel to see all these exciting changes. Um, yeah, other than that, like I don't know what's gonna happen in 2018. Of course I have like some general goals and stuff like that. Um, like read more, I have that video I put up last week. Um, and I want to work out more, lose weight, <laughs> um, and yeah, just keep living my best life. I want to post more on YouTube and really hopefully grow my channel, so if you could subscribe, that would mean so much to me. I know this video has probably been so flipping long, but I hope you enjoy. I know for me it's going to be kind of different, it's probably going to be kind of weird. It's not really the year of, it's kind of the year in between. So there's going to be a lot of preparing and just, you know, working hard. And yeah, hopefully that gets me to where I want to be. So if you enjoyed, do subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to see more from me, definitely follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video.